Hi, today's exercise we're going to actually have a look at HVAC zones and adding them to the project. We'll also examine the zones and spaces in the system browser. And finally we'll end up with a view of zone names by colour. So first thing I need to do is duplicate the existing view. This view then once created I'll rename it. So let's right hand click on here and say rename and we're going to change this to our zones view so we've got a couple of section markers in here that we don't really need for this particular view so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the section marker and then I'm going to right hand click and hide this and I'll hide the category to get rid of the other section marker at the same time. So the next thing to do is to be able to view the HVAC zones is we go down into our visibility graphics, expand this out so we can see the interior fill and the reference line, we'll turn those on. But in the meantime, well, we'll actually, actually have to get rid of the interior fill for the spaces. And once I've gone OK, you'll see those spaces of fill disappear. So let's get some zones in here. So Analyze tab, Zones. Now automatically, we should have Add Spaces already uh, created, uh, selected. So all we need to do is select those spaces, give them a name. So let's change this from just one. We'll change this to Classrooms 1. and we just need to finish the actual creation of the zones and all we need to do now is do exactly the same for the opposite side of the corridor now I could select these individually but I'm going to actually use the crossing window in here you'll also notice that it just goes up to classroom 2 so automatically just changes the number but keeps the classroom name for these uh, these zones so cross to the other side of the, the other wing for classroom 3 and finally for now we'll just do the other classrooms here on the other side of the wing to make a zone called classrooms 4 finish that off so you can see those um, uh, zones already in here so the next thing I need to do is, is tag these so let's go into annotate and tag by category and you'll see here that uh, once I select these zones, they tagged automatically. Great. So let's just zoom in and um, take a look at that tag. Yep. Great. That's uh, here's our tags. So let's zoom out uh, so we can see the whole whole view. Now we're going to explore the uh, zones and spaces a little bit more. So to do this, I need to turn on our system browser and I could hit F9 or I could use the menus just to turn that on so you'll see these are set to systems what I need to do here is change that from systems to zones and there's our four classroom zones already created now there's always going to be a default zone now this is where all of these spaces are, are hidden away in now these spaces, we, we, you'll see the icons are slightly different and we've got a problem here where these plumbing chases are set to occupiable and I can tell that by the icon so let's change the properties in here, let's take the the tick away from occupiable so we take that tick off and the icon will change next to them so we've got a couple of other ones in here, there's one here that's got the same problem so I select this chase and tick the tick away You'll also notice there's a couple of um, icons with question marks in them. Now these are spaces that have um, originally been added to a particular room, but the rooms disappear, the spaces disappear, but the tag still exists. So let's remove the last one and one more down here, this chase. So right hand click and delete, just gets rid of that, keeps it tidy. Like so. So 
what we will also notice is that when we actually select these spaces, it actually highlights the space. But in this case, the space doesn't exist in the view. So if I actually right hand click and go show, it'll actually tell me that it's actually going to go and find a, a, a view and it will find a, a good view of that particular space. And this can take a little bit of time because it checks all of the views, make sure it gets the best one. And there it is, it's opened up our classroom plan and one's uh, view where we can get a better look of that particular space and it's highlighted it there for us. Let's just clear that down and in fact what we'll do um, we'll use the um, close inactive views option so we get back to our particular view. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to actually have a look at um, put a color scheme on this one uh, on this view. So if we use it in the properties you can see color scheme here is set to none so we have no nothing set so we select that button and we'll get a dialog box for the edit color scheme. So the first thing we really, um, need to do is make sure we're changing the HVAC zones schema and there's a schema 1 already created for us. So there's our classrooms and these are the colors which are configurable we can select those change those. First thing I'm going to do here though is actually change the name of our, um, our schema so we know it's for zones so if I just pick OK there and we'll also change the title so let's change that title to Zones Legend so again anyone else using this can see exactly what it's for and it, once I've gone OK you'll actually see that the um, the zones that are already in there will take on the colors in that particular scheme any other zones that are added will automatically get added to the color schema as well and there's our four different colors for our four different zones. Um, make it a lot easier to, to understand we're going to use the um, just go to analyze and we're going to use the color fill legend here and we'll plonk that down so you get a color fill legend so you can actually see what color goes with what zone. Finally what I'm going to do here is just remove the reference line so into VG visibility graphics and turn off the um, HVAC zones reference lines. So that's zones within Revit MEP.